All right, people, so this is probably one of the most important videos that I'm going to make on this entire channel because if you're an international student who's looking to get a full ride, scholarships, financial aid, and I know that you guys love the Road to Success 100% Scholarship series, the one application that you need in order to get your financial aid is the CSS profile. And in this video, I'm going to break it all down step by step. Now, I know that some of you guys might not be applying in this admission cycle, so you can also save this video to watch later because it's going to be a step by step breakdown. And while you're at it, like thumbs up the video and hit the subscribe button because it really does help the channel grow. But if you haven't seen like the other few videos, we started the Road to Success series and we've done three videos so far. Harvard, MIT, and Stanford on how the entire college application works. Now, the one thing that was common in all three of these applications was how an international student applies for financial aid, and that is through the CSS profile. Now, basically, the CSS profile is a separate application on its own. It's not connected to Common App or any other college application. It's a separate application solely dedicated to decide how much financial aid you get as an international student. And the cool thing is any international student from anywhere in the world can fill out the CSS application and apply for financial aid. So the CSS profile in general, I've divided it into four easy parts. The first part is your personal information as a student. The second part is your academic and currency, just to get a little more detail of where you live and how the currency in, in that area kind of works. And the third part is your parents' information. And the fourth one is your household information. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead to the CSS website and create a new account. Now, like I said, the CSS profile isn't connected to any other college application, so you won't already have an account. You'll have to create one from scratch. And you can do this, it's pretty much a very easy step-by-step -step process. Um, I'm gonna leave the link to the CSS website in the description so you guys can check that out as well. So let's start off with the personal information section. Now, as a student, this is basically, you know, your name, your details, very easy stuff. Now, because the CSS profile is meant for international students, things like your phone number and addresses will actually have drop-down menus where you can select your home country like India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, etc. Now, in the housing information, you'll see a permanent and mailing address section. Now, both of these can be the same, but the one thing you need to keep in mind is sometimes if CSS does need to send you any documents, your mailing address should be a valid one. So if you're thinking of maybe moving or relocating, you can put like a relative's address. That's no problem here. The second section is your parent section where you can actually select parent one, parent two. And I know that some students have like uncles, aunts, or some, you know, other guardians. You can also select those. So basically um, having two parents who kind of provide for you as a child is what they're looking for. So in most cases, it'll be mom and dad. But if you do have a relative, you can add that on here as well. So the rest of the personal information section is pretty straightforward. So now we're going to move on to the second part, which is the academic and the currency. And this part is where things get a little interesting because here they'll ask you what your high school is. And if you go to this high school search button, it gives you the option to search for your high school. You'll notice that in the state section, there are mostly American states. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can select none of the above. And then you can try to type your school name. Now, I tried typing a couple different school names uh, from Bangalore because th that's where I did my schooling. And I noticed that some of them were not there. And obviously, you know, it's not possible that CSS has every single school in the world. So if you don't see your school listed here, you can actually select the not listed tab here and then just select school. So basically, you're just letting them know that, you know, your school isn't mentioned and you don't need to panic. You can just, you know, move forward with that. Now, once the school is selected, you'll see that they ask you if you've received any scholarships. And in most cases, it'll be zero because typically, um, high school students in other countries don't receive scholarships to go to high school. Uh, but the next tab is how much the school actually costs. Now, this is the first like monetary based um, kind of question that we're seeing. So the one thing I do want to point out here is that any sort of number based question that they ask in the CSS profile, it needs to be filled out in your home currency. You don't have to worry about converting the currency to US dollars or any of that. Now, the point of the CSS profile is because it's made for international students, they have their own currency conversions. So the numbers that you put here can just straightforward be whatever currency you're in. So for example, I'm an Indian, so I would use uh, Indian rupees. And here it says how much did the private school cost? And that's for one academic year. And I just added two lakh rupees. Now this is just an example. 
uh, you would put in whatever your school cost. Now, monetary questions can get a little confusing because, for example, here in this question, when they asked what the total expense for one year was, like it's hard to judge what that includes. So if you actually click on the input box, a yellow pop-up box uh, kind of shows up on the side that elaborates on the type of expenses you can include. For example, here they've clearly mentioned that you need to include your tuition, your fees, your books, supplies, housing, and meals, and things like your extracurricular activities or some sports or, or band or theater activities don't need to be included. Now, moving on to the college search tab, uh, this is one of the more important sections because like I mentioned earlier, your common app or your coalition app is not directly linked to your CSS profile. So in this section, you have to add all the colleges that you wish to send the CSS profile to. And in order to add the colleges, you just simply click this college or program selection tab and you can search the colleges either by the CSS code or you can search them by name. Now, personally, I would recommend that you use the CSS code, which can easily be found if you do a quick Google search because it's a unique four digit code that every college has in the US. Because if you do a search by college option, there are so many colleges in the US and you can get a little confused. So if you accidentally select the wrong college, this is something that's kind of like a user error and it can't be undone. And to give you guys a little more context, now the CSS profile in general costs $25 for one college and any additional college is $16. So in this example, I've selected two colleges. So this will cost me 25 plus $16. The next part is the currency section. And here you have to select the currency in which your parents earn money. Now this should probably be the same as what their income tax documents state. So for example, if my parents live in India, they earn in Indian rupees, I would select Indian rupee as the currency. In this section, you need to be extra careful because there are gonna be so, so many numbers that you input everywhere. I would recommend taking a screenshot of most of these pages, just so you have that as a reference. And in case this information is asked in any other form, like a separate college form, these numbers definitely need to match up. It can be a huge red flag if you put some numbers here and other numbers there. That's something that colleges do not entertain. Now, this part of the video gets a little confusing and even for me, it took me a while to understand. So if you wanna sit down with your parents and watch the next couple of minutes, they might actually understand this better because it relates to income tax documents and kind of like boring document stuff. But the first thing you need to keep in mind is the CSS profile always asks for your tax return from two years ago. So since I'm filling out the application for 2022 and 2023, the tax return that they're asking for is from year 2020. That's the number one thing you need to keep in mind. Now they'll ask for the tax return for both parent one and parent two. And even if parent two, for example, your mother does not work, that's fine. You can say you, they do have that option of adding that in. So don't worry about it. But basically you have the option of whether your parents completed a tax return, whether they have it, don't have it, or have a US-based tax return. So in most cases, you'll select completed a tax return and then move on to the next section. Now, while filling out the non-US tax return for your parents, they'll ask for a couple different options like the total compensation, how much taxes were withheld, um, if they made any money from other businesses, and you can just, you know, estimate and put whatever you want in this in these parts. That's not how it works. You'll need to get your parents' 2020 tax return report. And yes, for students that don't know what I'm talking about, basically in India, if you're, you know, a working professional, you have to file for income tax each year. And the report looks something like this. This is just a sample report that I created. The one from your parents will have different numbers depending on what their income is, how much taxes were withheld, and it's basically what the name suggests it's an income tax report that the Indian government issues to every single person. And from this income tax report, you have to see how much the total compensation was, which will be the gross compensation minus the total taxes that they paid. Now, according to the sample report, the total compensation for parent one was 10 lakh rupees. So that's what I put in here. Now, in my example, I said that my dad works and my mom does not work. So I included 10 lakh rupees for my dad and zero for my mom. Other information like your interest or your dividend income will apply if your parents have any investments in the stock market. So this is something that you can ask them as well. If they have any other businesses apart from like their full-time job, 
rental property, any farms, basically any other sources of income, there are spaces to put all of those in. But if your parents are just earning from one source and they have that income tax report and that's about it, so the other places can be left at zero. Now in the income tax report, you have a tax deducted section and the total taxes that were deducted from your parents' income, that can go into the second last part over here, which says all taxes. Now in my example, this was five lakh rupees, so that's what I put in here. Now the itemized amount and sources for this income tax can be basically as simple as income tax, right? You just have to explain what this tax deduction was for. Now, for those of you guys that are wondering that, you know, you're using this income tax form to kind of uh, fill in these details and there's no place to attach this form, the CSS profile in general won't have you attach any document. There is a separate like portal and website, which is known as the IDOC packet, where the colleges will request for this information, all of your tax documents from your parents. Now, this step only happens if the college gives you admission and you decide to take their offer. So this is like the final steps in where they make sure that all of the information that you provided in the CSS profile was accurate and you weren't lying and all the numbers match up. Moving on to the household information. Now, I know that especially in India, there are other members in the family like your uncle, or your aunt or your grandparents who maybe earn and contribute to the earning of the family, right? So basically, if there's anyone else apart from your parents that is earning and contributing to the income of your household, you have the option to put that here in the CSS profile. Now, when I say that the CSS profile looks at every single piece of financial information, I mean everything. In the next part, they'll ask you whether you own or rent a home. And let's say that you own a home. So the details regarding how much you bought the house for, what the current market value of the home is, and if you have any loan payments from the home, all those details need to be added here. And everything can be like a close approximation. It doesn't have to be like to the rupee exact amount, but it does need to be a close approximation. So for example, if you're considering like a market value, a current market value of your home, it needs to come off of maybe like um, some website that you've used to accurately assess this information and take a screenshot of that website. So later on, if this is questioned or they've asked how you arrived at this conclusion, you have some you know, documentation and proof of what you used to get this market value. With living expenses, things can get a little bit personal because I mean, how do you calculate the exact amount that you spend on food for the entire year, right? Now, the best way to go about this is to break down your expenses for per month and then multiply that by 12. And then again, like your per month expenses can be like an average amount. So for example, let's say that I know that my water and electricity bill comes out to maybe 10,000 rupees per month. So for one year, it would be one lakh 20,000 rupees. And that is what I would put in the utility section. Now food roughly, I know that if I have like a household size of three or four people, it's roughly maybe 30,000 rupees per month. So that would be multiplied by 12 and I would write 3 lakh 60,000 rupees in the food section. So clothing would be maybe 1 lakh rupees and other necessities can be added in the same way. Now, if you have your siblings, in the next section here, you add in their details. Now, the last section of the CSS profile is the household information section. And this details over if you have any siblings, for example, if they go to school, college, their expenses, and how much their tuition fee is, all of those things will be added on. Now, the reason that they ask this is ultimately the big picture goal is the total earnings from everybody in the household, your parents, you, uncle, aunt, whatever, minus all of your expenses, so living expenses minus, you know, home expenses, if you have like any loans, those, if your siblings are going to school or college minus those expenses, then colleges will, will see how much you're left with and how much you can actually afford to pay. Now, in the last few years, if your parents suffered through any sort of financial loss or instability or something that really created, you know, a dent in your family's income status, there is a special circumstances tab where you can explain what exactly happened. So you can use this word to kind of write like a short letter to all the colleges. And this is something that they will also factor in while deciding how much financial aid they should award you. Now, some colleges can go to the very next level by asking specific questions and those can be found in the supplemental tab. For example, Harvard actually wants to know what kind of car your parents drive and the total debt your entire family is in while considering how much financial aid they should award you. All right, so that concludes the CSS step-by-step -step walkthrough. And if you guys are watching till this point, 
hit that like button and comment down below what your favorite breakfast is because I want to know who is watching till this very point because this video is getting very, very long. But coming back to like the main point, when you submit your CSS profile, what is the whole point of actually submitting all of this information? Like what are they going to do knowing what car your parents drive, right? <laughs> um, basically what the colleges do is they will assess your parents and your financial situation and come up with a number that they will award you for a scholarship or financial aid amount in the event that you get the admission to their college. Now this number, the scholarship and financial aid amount that they award you is not like a base figure. It will vary for each college because nobody really knows how colleges use the CSS profile. They all have their own formulas and secret recipes and basically their own conversion rates. So your scholarship can differ from college to college. Some college may give you a full ride 100% scholarship, whereas another college may give you 10% or 20%. It all just depends on them. But the best that you can do is provide accurate information. Don't lie on the CSS profile. It's unethical. If you get caught, you can be fined, sued, or you can probably be banned from the rest of your life from applying to that college. Like you don't want to get into that whole rabbit hole, right? Now, even though I literally broke down every single step on how to fill the CSS profile and I almost covered everything in my mind that you guys would need to kind of go through this, the CSS profile in general can be very, very intimidating. And as you've probably guessed by now, it's a super important document that determines basically how much money the college will give you, right? So if you guys need direct one-on-one -on -one help with a CSS profile, understanding how it works, or just someone to guide you through filling this entire application out, you can check out the scholarship consult at incognitoblueprints.com. Now this is one of like the very few step-by-step -step follow along videos that I've made, and I feel like it'll help a lot of you guys out there. So let me know in the comments below if you also want to see a similar common app step-by-step -step walkthrough videos. Maybe if we can get this video to a thousand likes, I will create a common app video similar to like the CSS one. So that's all that I had for this video. Like the video if you're watching till this point. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.